everybody, Donia from DragWatt.com, another drawing video. And today in this new lesson, we'll be learning how to draw Esperanza Spalding, the one that won the Grammy Award. Be sure to get yourself a pencil, paper, and eraser to prepare for this tutorial. And don't forget to grab the link in the video description for the full drawing tutorial at DragWatt.com. Hope you guys enjoy this lesson, and stay tuned for more videos. Have fun. Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to draw Esperanza Spalding. In this lesson, I'll break down the simple steps on drawing Esperanza. Make sure you have a sketch pencil set so you can shade her face and various values. I'll be drawing Esperanza in the simplistic way so you can get the advantage to shade or color. Here I have my guidelines that will help guide my proportioning symmetry of, of Esperanza's face. I'm going to fade out my guide so I can draw the future lines more prominent. Like this. And that's my first step. I'm going to make step two. And this is going to be on her face shape, which is very important to get down the face shape first before you move on to any of your major details. And I'm just giving her a nice face shape. It's very simplistic. I'm going to see down to her jawline. Just like that. And my step three, and this is going to be on her eyes. And her eyes are very wide. Just start off with the outlining of the eyes first before you move on to any of the crucial detailing. I'm just doing the outline of the eyes. And then make the nose. The ridge of the nose. That's step three. Step four, and this is going to be on finishing the nose. And I'm doing the ridge for the right side of it and the right side nostril. And as you can see, you can see a lot of the nostril because of the view that she's in. She's in like a bottom three-fourth view. I'm going to do the ridge. I'm going to go up to her eyes again. Darken it a bit more. So her eyes are very dark with the lid area. I'm going to add her eye white and start shading in her eyes. Just like this. Very simple. I'm going to do the same for over here. Add an eye white. Shading her eyes. All the eye whites in the same diagonal direction, which is what you want. The lid. The lid creases, and we're done with that step. Step five. This is going to be on her eyebrows. And her eyebrows are very airy. There's not much definition to it like that of a male's eyebrows. We're drawing a girl here, and she has thin and airy eyebrows are not fully darkened. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And as I get to the edge, the eyebrows become more scattered. The hairs. I'm going to do the same for this one. Keeping my rules from what I did to the previous brow. I'm going to scatter the hairs like that. That's how you draw eyebrows for Esperanza. And then work on her eyelashes. And her eyelashes are being viewed from the top, so it's good to draw them like they're being viewed from the top, which is straight. I'm going to do the lower of eyelashes now. This. And the middle of the white. And the wrinkle that's underneath her eye. Same for this one. Eyelashes are not very long, so don't draw them too exaggeratingly long. Okay, step six this is going to be entirely on her lips. And her lips are wide at the top, and they're almost an equal length at the bottom lip. So as you can see, I'm almost done with the face shape, and I'm just adding some definition detailing that make it look like she's being viewed on the lower end. I'm going to make step 7, and this is going to be on 
the, the bangs and her acro. But I'm gonna start simple, so I'm gonna draw the bangs for her hair first before we move on to the large afro. And she has her afro exceeds over over completely her eyebrows. But not entirely. I'm going to draw separated pieces of her afro. And that's step seven. Step eight, and this is going to be on the outer edges of her afro. Now I'm going to start at a good equal length, which is like about from here to here. That's how wide her afro is, so I'm going to go ahead and make sections that are pieced out and scattered. I'm going to use brisk lines for this. Very edged, curly lines, which emphasizes the curliness of her afro. Because afros, when you detail it, gets very complex, and that's not what I want. I want to make this very simple to draw. So making sure I'm keeping a good width from her head and the outer shape of the afro. Like this. Most of my are crusty the clown from The Simpsons. Alright, that is step eight. Step nine, and this is going to be on her neck and her clothes. Like this. And I'm drawing her neckline and I'm drawing her shoulders that define that she's wearing a hoodie. I'm going to go ahead and define the wrinkles for her shoulders a bit more. Like this. Notice how I'm adding wrinkles to areas that have a lot of activity, like her shoulders. Then I want to make step 10, and this is going to be on the finishing details for Esperanza's face and hair. Like the earrings. And defining details for her. This is just very brief and moderate details to keep an eye on. Like that. Alright, so I'm going to hide my guidelines, and I now have my finished Esperanza Spaulding, the winner of the Grammys. Hope you guys enjoy this lesson. Be sure to check out Dragwatt Official, the official YouTube channel for the latest drawing videos, and Dragwatt.com for the latest drawing tutorials, the best and the easiest. Hope you guys enjoy this lesson, and thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for more.